So this is a short introductory video to the River Bathymetry Toolkit centerline tool. Uh, the goal of this tool is to find the longitudinal centerline of a polygon that normally represents some kind of stage or bank full of your channel. So I'm using here the Bear Valley Creek data set, the tutorial data for the River Bathymetry Toolkit, and I've already run the detrending tool which has output um, a banks polygon and a flow accumulation line. You don't actually have to use these two inputs. Um, you can generate your own bankful polygon or banks polygon using the bankful slider. So you can uh, raise or lower the water level and create a banks polygon of any uh, stage that you want and th then use the centerline tool to find the centerline of that, of that stage. Same goes for the flow accumulation line. Actually, this tool really cares most about the input and output of uh, the reach and not so much about the orientation of the line in between. Uh, laying, laying out of the center line is extremely important uh, because the RBT uses a longitudinal line, such as the center line, to lay out its cross sections perpendicular. So, uh, getting the right orientation of that center line is really important. So I'll go ahead here and bring up the tool. You find it under the Bankful Centerline menu. Uh, click on Centerline. And I'm actually going to go ahead and start this tool and run it and then explain the inputs because it takes a few minutes to run. So I've chosen my uh, Riverbanks polygon. Um, as I mentioned, this can be any polygon at any stage. Um, the one I'm using is the banks uh, from the detrending process. The flow accumulation line, again, this is, uh, this is intended to find the input and output of the uh, reach, and don't worry about the actual orientation of that line. Um, one problem with that line, though, is that if the line is extremely sinuous and it kinks back upstream uh, to a great degree, it can throw off the center line, and you'll end up with an output where the center line departs from the channel and then re-enters slightly downstream. So you'll get these uh, forks where the center line is broken. And you can overcome that by turning on this smooth input flow line option and increasing the distance. And I've chosen a value of 5 meters here for this one because I know that that should overcome the most sinuous kinks in the flow accumulation line. Uh, the next input is the smooth output. That's fairly self-explanatory. Um, that will take the output center line that's produced and actually smooth it to the tolerance that you specify. Uh, I'm using a 3 meter DEM and 2 meters uh, smoothing tolerance is uh, fairly reasonable at this resolution. The reverse orientation checkbox, um, the output of the center line, you want it to be digitized from the upstream to the downstream end of your reach. So you want the from node of the data, in this case, to be on the western end of the data set and the to node to be on the eastern end. If you're finding that your center lines are coming out back to front and when you're laying out cross sections you'll know this because left bank will be on the wrong side for your cross sections. You can rerun the center line tool and turn on this option and it will actually flip the geometry of the resultant uh, center line. Uh, the output, uh, it defaults to uh, the center line name, you can override that and the workspace where the center line is produced is the same location as your input river banks. Just one thing, while the tool is running there, you may have noticed the cursor flickering uh, between the weight cursor and the default hand. Um, that's ArcGIS uh, interacting with, with our tool, and uh, we can't really control that. So be patient. Uh, it may look like the tool's finished, but until you get this message here, the tool may not have actually finished. So go ahead, click OK there. I'm going to turn off the flow accumulation line so we can take a look at this center line. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you'll see here that basically we've got a nice line that kind of follows the geometric center of our polygon. Notice at the top here the uh, center line is kinked out of the channel at a funny angle. Basically our flow accumulation line ended and beyond that it was unable to find a reasonable result. So I'd recommend in situations like this clipping that center line uh, back to where your flow accumulation line ends. Um, further down the channel we can see here um, you'll see that our center line approximates the center of the po polygon really nicely and I'll just show you briefly here at the bottom of the channel again um, because our flow accumulation line had a bit of a kink here at the bottom 
um, the actual last result of this line is um, a bit dubious so I what I would do in this situation is probably go into an edit session in ArcGIS, edit this, and just manually uh, edit that end of the center line. Or if you're if you're finding it's uh, producing good results, you can uh, stick with it. So that's the River Bathymetry Toolkit center line tool.